all have the same 24 hours in a day, but with work, kids, and everything in between, it can be hard to create a healthy balance. It doesn't have to be, though. Joining me on the shortcut to tell you how to budget your time like you budget your money is personal development expert and number one national best-selling author, Christy Wright. Hi, Christy. Hey, how are you? Doing good. So how important is it to budget our time like we budget our money? Well, both are finite, so it's really important, but let's just start by acknowledging that most people don't budget their money or their time. So we need to start with the reality that we need to. A budget is not restrictive. It actually helps you have some. And I think we can all agree we'd like to have more money and more time. So I want to give you three practical things to help you budget your time, because if we're not intentional with it, we will always live in this cycle of feeling like we don't have enough. Believe it or not, we do have enough time for the things that are most important. So start there. Step one is to decide what matters to you. That simply means decide what is most important. And no, everything is not equally important. You need to decide in this season what matters most. If you get nothing else done, what are those things you want to get done? What are those things you want to make it on the calendar? You've got to decide if you expect them to happen. So true. And what are some other ways that we can budget our time and create more balance in our lives? Yes. Well, after you decide what matters, the second step is to protect what matters. We all know that if you're not careful, life and everyone else will just push you around. You'll have people, even well-meaning people, telling you what you should be doing with your time. You'll have FOMO, the fear of missing out, and you will get sucked into a lot of good things, but the good things at the wrong time are the wrong things. So I want to help you protect what matters most so that you can spend your time on what matters most most to you. And then after you protect what matters, the third thing you need to do is be present for what matters. And to be honest, Sydney, most people miss this. We are so distracted thinking about our to-do list, scrolling our phone. But even if you create the most perfect schedule in the world, if you're not present for it, you miss it. So decide what matters, protect what matters, and then be present for what matters. And when you do that, I think you will feel that sense of balance you've been looking for all along. Such great tips. I'm definitely going to follow that myself. And you mentioned all of that in your new book, Take Back Your Time, that comes out tomorrow. What else can people look forward to in reading your new book? Well, I think the key is understanding that this is not a productivity book. This is not about how to do more, how to multitask and be more efficient because we've tried that and we are just exhausted. Instead, I want to help you get to the root issue of why you feel out of balance in the first place. Define your version of balance and then I want to help you create it through these practical steps. I love it and I can't wait to pick it up and read it myself. Thank you so much, Chrissy, for joining us on The Shortcut. Chrissy's new book, Take Back Your Time, launches tomorrow. For more information, visit RamseySolutions.com.